In this video, we're overclocking the AMD Ryzen 7 7700X all the way up to 5747 megahertz in five minutes or less using the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. But please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and most definitely not the whole picture on how to overclock this kind of a system. If you want to learn how to overclock this system, please have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, enter the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to Expo 2. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5, 6400 and memory timings. Expo 1 will load only the primary timings and have the motherboard tune the secondary timings. Expo 2 will load the entire profile without the motherboard adjustments. Set memory frequency to DDR5, 6000. While our memory kit is rated at DDR5, 6400, unfortunately, our CPU isn't able to run that frequency. By enabling Expo, we still benefit from the improved memory timings. Enter the DRAM Timing Control submenu. Set Memory Context Restore to Disabled. This forces the CPU to retrain the memory at every boot. The benefit is that it helps improve stability at higher memory frequencies, and the downside is that the boot process will take a little bit longer to complete. Leave the DRAM Timing Control submenu. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here's where we will do most of the performance tuning as PBO provides us with the tools to increase the power, current, and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 Boost algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Enabled. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters, PPT, TDC, and EDC, according to the motherboard auto rules. On this motherboard, we find that the following values have changed. Increasing the platform boost parameters typically have the most significant effect on multi-core processors. For Ryzen 7000, however, AMD's default platform parameters are relatively unconstraining. With the 8-core 7700X, we don't hit the platform limits at stock values. Set CPU boost clock override to enabled positive. Set max CPU boost clock override to 200. This increases the frequency ceiling by 200 MHz over the programmed maximum 1T limit. On this Ryzen 7 7700X, that's 5550 MHz. Increasing this by 200 MHz results in a frequency ceiling of 5750 MHz. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu and set Curve Optimizer to per core. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to adjust the voltage frequency curve for each core by up to 30 steps in a positive direction and up to 300 steps in a negative direction. Each step represents around 5 millivolt. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Setting a positive offset means the CPU will use more voltage for a given frequency and boost to a lower frequency at a particular voltage. It is the former that we need in our overclock. For every core, set Curve Optimizer sign to negative. For core 0, set Curve Optimizer magnitude to 20. For core 1, set Curve Optimizer magnitude to 18. For cores 2, 3, 4 and 5, Set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 22. For Core 6, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 14. For Core 7, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 16. Then save and exit the BIOS. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 8.02% in AI benchmark. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5747 MHz. When running Prime95 small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU effective clock is 5144 MHz with 1.234 volts. The average CPU temperature is 95.3 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 27.4 and 34.6 degrees Celsius. 
the average CPU package power is 143.9 watts. And that's it. Thanks for watching and the Patreons for their support and see you next time.